So did you start out uh, wholesaling? Is that how you started your real estate investing career? Actually, my very first deal was a flip. I got my first flip about two weeks in um, to becoming a real estate investor. I went through a, a training, a real estate education program. And two weeks into that program, uh, I got my first deal and it happened to be a rehab. Um, but I, the rehab quickly went south. And so uh, I picked up my first couple of wholesales uh, thereafter to try to make up for all the losses that I took on my first, on my first flip. So what's the big lessons learned on your first flip that uh, you would uh, recommend to folks not to make the same mistakes? Oh my gosh. Um, so it would be not to give up your power to the contractor, you know, getting into the business and starting out, I think, you know, the contracting part of things, a, a, a lot of it is, is confusing and daunting and overwhelming. Um, you know, whether it's private money or contracting or marketing, but with the contracting side of it, for me personally, um, I didn't know a lot about swinging hammers and everything that went into construction. And so I quickly, you know, gave my contractor the benefit of the doubt and gave them the power to do what they want. And, um, you know, they blew smoke uh, as much as anybody has ever blown smoke. And, um, you know, they ran off. I gave him a $5,000 deposit for a roof and he ran with that. And then, you know, one of the estimates that he gave me, he said that the septic system was good to go when it had failed. Uh, so that was $20,000 that I didn't anticipate. So, you know, my, the lesson that I learned was the system that we have in place now to, to vet and hire contractors. We have a five-step system that all contractors have to go through no matter what, there's no compromise in order for them to do work with us. Mm -hmm.